Okay, I want to talk really quickly about audio effect tracks. So we're going to use this organ uh, organ channel. And uh, let's say that I've got a number of effects that I'm playing with on here. Um, let's put a little bit of compression on and, and so on. So I have this rack essentially of uh, effects or this, this chain of effects. So first of all, I'm going to command G and group them or you can right click and group and ungroup. And then what you get here is this sort of container around them and um, you can play with some of the options but ultimately this is the one we want which is the macro controls. Uh, what you can then do with these is, um, let's change that to the high pass and play about with the frequency. So I want to add something that will control that without me having to go into this instrument and deal with it. So basically we can hit map here and we can map the frequency to this first macro. Uncheck the map there and what you'll see is that now controls that one there. Not only that but you can control more than one um, with the same controller so that now controls the gain and the frequency um, and what you can also do is, if we're playing about with this, if you look up here on the left hand side, the mappings, you can actually change the minimum and maximum so you can see well, I only want it to go up to 3 decibels, that one and that one down to minus 4-ish. Uh, uncheck map and you'll see that as I move this, this gain now has different limits in place. So you can imagine the, the possibilities that, that you can have here um, and then once you've got that you can right click, you can uh, save as default preset or in fact you can actually just save the entire aud audio effect track um, into uh, where you normally uh, keep all your things, click in that little save box there uh, and that'll save all the current settings as a preset and then you can drag it into any other channels and use it in the same way on anything else. So I actually have that set up for a few things. Um, I've got some vocal effects, um, some dub chains and stuff that I generally use quite often and I just drag them on if I need to, to play about with something and um, it's a quick way to use the same sort of effects over and again without having to build all your chains and map all the macros over and over again.